Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. This is Christopher Drives, and this is Matt Weiss. Me. So, uh, we had a very tragic uh, incident happen in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, while me and Chris were visiting, a EF4 tornado ripped through the heart of Nashville. As far as what I experienced, um, they I was watching the news a little bit after the game in the lobby of a hotel we were in. And then we, uh, um, like I said, I was, I was trying to figure out how to word this in a weird way. Um, I was watching and it looked a little weaker than what a tornado could produce. And then, um, I had went back to, uh, the hotel room, um, me and Chris were sitting there, I believe we were watching NCIS on TV, and uh, we saw a couple lightning flashes, which we knew the storm was coming, so that didn't surprise us. Yeah, we didn't think much of it. And then we heard sirens uh, towards the city area, towards Nashville, and uh, we went outside to do a little, like, smoke break, because you can't smoke at hotels anymore. Um... And uh, I take a look into the sky, and I can see the uh, rain. I could see a wall cloud, and I saw a slight what looked like a funnel. And at that point, I ran back into the hotel room and asked them what their tornado protocol was. So, um, and then kind of from there went into protection mode of protecting our core group. So that's what I experienced. Um, from what we know, at this point, 25 people perished, um, 200 plus wounded, and I think they said there's like still 10 people missing. Um, um, they said billions in damages to homes and families. Um, so, I mean, that's all we really know. Um, we will leave a link on how you can donate to help the people of Central Tennessee down below. Um, as much as we were before we left Milwaukee strong, we are now Nashville strong. Um, we, uh, we did enjoy our experience. We're back here in Milwaukee. And, we're safe. And we're safe. Um, that's, that's all I can give you. It's a tough topic to talk about when experiencing it. Um, for me, this is the closest I ever was to a tornado in my life. Um, Same here. Um, with Milwaukee, with the lake and everything, we don't really get those too much. Um, we could go down to the lake and watch water spouts, but that's about as close yeah. as we're going to get. Um, so um, that's one of our... It's a really kind of mortal thing where you just um, kind of stare down nature like that. Yeah. Um, also... Preds fans, you guys can go to the game, I believe, tomorrow, and uh, Section 105-106, pick up Nashville Strong, uh, t-shirts for 20 bucks, um, and hoodies for 40 bucks. They will be able to, all the money and proceeds will go to help uh, Central uh, Tennessee Foundation. So, uh, there you go. Also, um, to my recollection, the Admirals will be doing something as well. So um, we don't know uh, entirely. Power Play Foundation might be doing something with their 50-50 or maybe uh, something with admission. Right now, or we don't know. Yeah, we're, we're getting fed info slowly through that. So, um, we'll see. Yeah, um, um, we will have more for you tomorrow on that. But, um, let's talk about another uh, Goodwill mention. Hey, yep, I gotta... Uh, we need to talk about our good friends at Wasa. And I'm going to say their name right this time. <laughs> the Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. Um, stumbled. Yeah, I, I stumbled the last two times, too. I felt bad about it. Sorry, Wassa. Uh, don't hate us. <laughs> um, but, no, uh, we like talking about these guys because uh, Dan and I, we sit pretty close to uh, one of the, the sled hockey goalies, uh, Steve Johnson. Yep. And uh, a couple other members of the Wassa sled hockey team, which the Admirals uh, sponsor. Um, they do a variety of sports there, including wheelchair, wheelchair basketball that's sponsored by the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, they do uh, wheelchair lacrosse through uh, Marquette University, which is awesome. They have a other uh, assortment of wheelchair sports, including tennis and bowling. 
and I believe they do quad rugby and uh, goalball as well. And a lot of that is uh, funded through them directly. And not only do they rely on uh, like grants, but they also rely on donations from us guys and uh, viewers like you. Uh, to check out their donations uh, or ways to donate, uh, go to WASA.org. They've got like three different ways you can donate. I think there's direct donation, there's their Amazon Smile, and they have the Oscar Mike t-shirts, which all three of them are easy ways to... Uh, and uh, um, uh, just not to cut you off, no. but Oscar Mike, when you buy their t-shirts, it's a 2 for you you're uh, also helping support uh, wounded veterans, uh, which is what Oscar Mike uh, does. Um, we've... Um, I've experienced them uh, along with Chris at uh, Slinger Speedway. So if you ever get a chance during the summer, you want to do something, go out there. They always have a booth at their Nationals and their Military Night at Slinger Speedway. So it's, it's a good way. Yeah, and there's, it's a really good pairing between the two because not only do they, uh, like, because they both uh, are in some ways veteran organizations, or like Oscar Mike is definitely full on veteran organization, yes. but uh, Wasa doesn't limit themselves just to veterans. They also work with uh, children and adults as well. Correct. If I remember correctly, they also help with Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. So um, there's Great that. organization. Yes. Give them a, and if you don't donate to them, give them a shout out or uh, check them out on Facebook and I believe they have a Twitter page too. All right. And lo and behold, our final to wrap up our, our quartet here. We got our with, friends at Hockey Locker. We got our friends at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. They will outfit you if you're a hockey player from helmet to skates and everything in between. You can't beat that. Um, also, go, go uh, April 4th. You could go and check out their CCM Demo yes. Night. Um, CCIO, CCM Demo Night is you can try out the gear, and if you like it, you can buy it. We may have to see if we can get in on that. Yep, I'm going to make a call to uh, Milos. Shortly. Um, outside of that, um, you could get Admiral's gear, Prior's gear. Um, you could get that nice jersey right there. Yeah, this lovely jersey. You can get it personalized too, if I understand. Yep, 75 bucks. You could get your skates sharpened. They have a drop off window. All you got to do is leave contact information and you will be able to uh, uh, get, get your skates sharpened as soon as he gets there. He'll sharpen them and when he's done, he will. Uh, E either call you, email you, whatever you said. So your, your they, skates are good in good hands with Milos. They really are. Yep, and uh, he still uses the uh, hand uh, rotation method, um, which is an old school method. Rarely done. It is rarely done nowadays. Most just you know put it on the machine and they they do it for him. Um, he still does it by hand. So you're, he makes sure you get a, a good a edge on your competition. Uh, you can call uh, Hockey Locker Milwaukee directly at 414-800-7585, uh, or where can you visit them online, Chris? Uh, you can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Oh. We got the we got the meat and potatoes out of the way. Now we got, well, we, we, we got, the, we got the starter out. Now let's talk about a little bit of a nail-biter <laughs> today. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little. Because uh, our last game didn't go so well, but let's be honest, uh, I don't know how much you guys talked about it because I didn't get to catch the video. Uh, the goalie for uh, Colorado stood on his head that um, game. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this game this versus game. Texas, not so much. No. All right, so let's get into that. Shots, Milwaukee outshot him by seven, not that Pretty much. neck and neck. Um, Milwaukee was one for four on the power play. Yay! Um, they did, however, have ten penalty minutes compared to Texas's eight. Mm -hmm. um, Texas was zero for five. Um, beyond that, pretty even. If so, you, uh, Matt, you want to take the first period? Sure. Uh, first period. Uh, uh, first, first and second. First and second. All right. Uh, first up, we had Texas notching one up on the board with Jason Robertson at twenty-three goals this year. Uh, Assisted by Andrej Bala with his first assist and uh, Joel Kivaranta with his tenth. Uh, in the second, we would have uh, Texas's uh, Tanner Caro with his eighth. Uh, assist by Nicholas Camano with his twelfth and Ben Gleason with his eighth. Power right in the kisser. Power right in the kisser indeed. 
Uh, our first Admirals goal was notched up by Rem Pitlick with his 20th. Nice work notching up your 20th. Uh, with assist by Matt Donovan, his 23rd, and Ellie Tolvanen with his 14th. That's Ellie Tolvanen, Texas. Tolvanen. Tolvanen. Uh, and who wants to take the third? And uh, Chris will, but first I want to mention, um, I, if I did have this ready, I would do a stick taps to this, but Rem Pitlick is the first Admiral rookie to score 20 goals since um, Victor Arvidsson, rookie we can, season. We can do a little golf clap there. I think a nice work, man. Like, um, that's an accomplishment in itself. All right, Chris, you can take uh, third in overtime. All right, well, with third period, we got Michael McCarron tying the game up with his 13th of the year for an assist from Ellie Tolvanen, his 15th, and Matt Donovan, his 24th. Dallas power play goal. Then um, Michael McCarron got his 14th and the game winner in overtime with an assist from Matt Donovan, his 25th, and Tommy Novak, his 28th. So we got two games with uh, in, in recent proximity between the, in the Nashville system, where kind of these dark with the kind of dark horse players showing up, taking the game winner goal, game winning goal in the overtime goal. Yeah, we got Mikhail Brandlin. Did it for Nashville. Now we, we got, got McCarron down here. All right, McCarran. so we're gonna talk about this after we're done with this. But Landon Poe, third star of the game, 37 saves on 34 shots, um, was the third star. Ellie Tolvanen with a Two assists and Michael McCarron with two goals. Yeah, Mike. Mike deserved it. All right. Um, in net for the Admirals was Connor Ingram stopping twenty eight of thirty. Um, attendance at the H E B Center in Cedar at Cedar Park was three thousand two hundred and forty four. Re- referees were Brendan Baldina and Justin Key. Um, linesmen were Michael McGinn's and Aaron Schlott. Or slot. Or Scott. Scott? Yeah, it's like school. Scott. All right. Um, that moves the Admirals to 5, 1, 0, oh, and 1 um, this season against Texas. Um, and so let's talk about that. Landon yeah. Bow, third star. Yeah. Does he deserve it? I mean, he... I... Don't agree with it entirely because he's still the losing goalie. I mean, yes, he had a, a good, was it, he would, held his own for the first two periods, really? But, no. It's all about what comes at the end. I mean, because if you look at it, let's see, we've got Matt Donovan with three assists, who should pro- easily should have took over Tolvin in spot. Right. Tolvanen should move to the three spot. Right. I'm not trying to like landslide no. it here to where the Admirals have it, but the Admirals players did have, and, and even in that, Ingram had a sub uh, GA goals against average of under one because yeah. of the time he played. Yeah. So I mean, even Ingram's deserving if if we're talking goalies. I mean, if we're having a gate, was it a, a, a was it a starred goalie on this one? It's it's Ingram. I'm not trying to be biased because we're Admirals fans. It's just the winning goalie usually is the one that skates away with the star. All right. So Texas's head coach is Neil Graham. Assistant coach Travis Morin. Is it Coach Carl playing uh, his former, uh, was it his uh, former team? Yep. Um, head coach is, for the Admirals is Carl Taylor. Assistant coach Scott Ford. Assistant coach Greg Rollo. Um, since we did not get a preview in, I'm going to let Chris take the uh, five uh, top point getters for Texas. Um, uh, one thing we want to do, uh, because it's been a while since we did this, uh, your crap list uh, candidates. I said for what? Uh, oh, yes, my crap list. Ben Harper, Alexander Carrier, and that's it. <coughs> top five. All right, top five for the Texas Stars. You got Jason Robertson with uh, that 23 goals, 18 assists. Then we got Joel Ellis Browns. You got uh, 22 goals, 13 assists. Tanner Cairo or whatever. Cairo. Cairo, eight goals, uh, 22 assists. Yep. Yep. And now we have uh, Michael Mersh, uh, 14 goals, 12 assists, and then Gavin. Bay Ruther. Bay Ruther. Uh, yep. Was that nine goals? Five. Five goals, yep. 26. Yep. Uh, Urara, Wisconsin to Michael Mersh. Yep. 
Yep, uh, Wisconsin alumni there, Mr. Michael Mersh. Um, let's, uh, so up next, the uh, Avros play Texas on Saturday again. Um, Texas's top goalies are, J t uh, starting goalie is Jake Ottinger, 35 games played, 30 shutouts, a 2.62 goals against average, a 12 and 12, 16 and 4 record with a 0.921 save percentage. Also in the shootout, he has a 0 .9, uh, 0.696 shootout save percentage. Um, Landon Bow, who started tonight, is 29 games played, one shutout, 3.31 goals against average, with a 12, 10, and 3 record, with a 8 point or a 0.894 save percentage. In the shootout, he has a 0.769 save percentage. Mm. Overall, the team has the same percentage of 0.722. Overall, the team's uh, goals against average is 3.10. So, um, on that, we move to the playoff primer because it is getting close to playoff season. Um, the Admirals are still first in the league with 86 points now after tonight. Um, they move the magic number to 8. Um, and their division to 30. Six. The league as well to thirty six. Um, to that, uh, we also go into um, the closest competition to them for also the division and the league. The the Iowa Wild. The Iowa Wild tonight played the San Jose Barracuda. They lost five to one in net for them. Uh, in net for Iowa was Matt Ro Robson. Uh, he stopped 26 of 31 shots. He allowed five goals. In net for the Barracuda was Joseph Konar. Uh, he stopped 33 of, thir uh, 33 of 34. Um, Johnny Brodzinski had two goals and Maxim uh, Lutinov had two assists. So I like we that we brought up this game too because I understand that there's been a lot of panic in the Admirals uh, fan base and the faithful. They this is the basement team of the Pacific Division. Everybody. <laughs> they have eight. They are now nineteen twenty seven four and two. Yeah. Um. This is a game that was played for spoil and they got it. Um. Matter of fact, they're last place in the league. Yeah. I'm not trying to bury this, but no. Um, they also swept Iowa on the season. The when you got somebody's number, you got somebody's number. Mm -hmm. Um, beyond that, uh, upcoming for uh the Admirals and Iowa, um, the Admirals play Texas on Saturday. Uh, Iowa plays Manitoba. Manitoba. Uh, the Griffins play Rockford on Saturday. The Wolves play Tucson. San Antonio is off. Um, obviously, Texas plays us, and obviously, Manitoba plays the Wasps. San Antonio's got an upcoming uh, in-state rivalry with Texas soon. Yes, that is on right. Friday. So, um, they play Texas Friday, and then they play uh, us on Sunday at 3. I say watch out for the Rampage, because ever since the... Uh... Ever since the whole, you know, relocation uh, thing came up, they've been kind of climbing. Yeah. And I think that's a good mot that's a motivator for kind of one last hurrah. A major League esque. Yeah, very much like Major League. Um. So that's all we got for you today. Um. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Uh, we have one last thing we want to talk about yet. Um, you could still, uh, we, like I said, with uh, Nashville Strong, we'll be leaving a link down in our description um, to where you can donate to uh, help out the uh, victims of this horrific tragedy. And uh, also don't forget to check out our friends over at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. Um, I'm David Goodwill, Christopher Draves, and Matt Weeks. 
see you guys later.